going to the papers now, Steve. In-house business first. Apologies to our viewers while we get our domestic situation <laughs> sorted out. But The Guardian has the latest on Nigel Farage. So the update is Nigel Farage, uh, Farage's Coot Bank account closed due to lack of funds. Mm. Now I can relate. Yeah. Um, so it and says, yet not. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you get to down to the figures, the bank requires that you have a million pounds invested or three million pounds in savings. Yeah. The terms and conditions are on their website, which is fair enough. Um, and then it's claimed that Nigel was offered a NatWest account. I mean, I do actually have one of those, so humble brag. Um, but Nigel said in an interview on the BBC, at no point in the last 10 years did Coots give me a minimum threshold. Probably guessing that's how it went. Yeah. But it was on, his, on the website, to be fair. Then yeah. he says, more importantly, the offer of NatWest personal account only came last Thursday. I think that may be an interesting fact, but it's not more importantly. The more important thing is the accusation that this was about political bias mm. n still needs to be proved. Yeah. They originally didn't say what the reason was. He filled in that blank with his opinion. But that's not been disproved by them saying... It's all to do with the amount of money. Tell us how much money you have. If there were over three million in there, you'd have yes. a really strong... Point. Or, if not, is it something that they fudge for some years? Because he claims that he's just got as much in there as he's had for ages. Yeah. Which, if that isn't three million in savings or a million in investment, might mean that they were turning a blind eye and now they've decided to play it by the rules. And that is in itself a way in which a certain amount of pressure can be brought to bear. I'm not saying it's, you know, it's not yeah. illegal, it's not even necessarily worth the government looking into. The but it, it is, this is important to get to the bottom of because this kind of thing does seem to be happening. We do know for a fact that, for instance, our friends at Trigonometry had their bank account closed. That definitely happened. That wasn't like coups or anything. We know for a fact that the political blogger Wings Over Scotland has been as absolutely isolated and, uh, and persecuted. So... It's, it's really important. It's this is the most high-profile example. It's well, important to get it sorted. You know? It's almost if you take this one out, then we can definitely focus on the issue of yeah. opinions shouldn't preclude you from a bank account. What do you say? Well, were they... I mean, did Coots just call them up, you know, and say, hey, listen, you've got to put some more money in the bank? Well, that would be the first that thing, would be wouldn't the first it? Thing. Yeah. That would be the first thing. This thing stinks. Maybe Steve doesn't see, think that it stinks because Steve's missed the left <laughs> wing and it would never <laughs> happen to him. But the people out there, it could happen to. And the people like me, I think it could happen to me. They could just change. They should have. They got all Coots, money. Coots could have made a phone call a week before, a month before, yeah. say, hey, we've noticed it. We have these rules. Yeah, can we yeah. help you? And then, and then can we, if you can't get enough money, we do this with everybody. And, of course, if they have that phone call logged, then they will be able to demonstrate it. But, funnily enough, I yeah. was with NatWest. I've mentioned this a couple of nights ago, sort of tongue-in-cheek, but it's true. I was with NatWest in about 1992, something like that, yeah. and they just closed my account without any warning because it had been permanently about 50 quid overdrawn. I was sort of on benefits and would have the occasional bit of freelance work. I was trying to get started as a freelance journalist. And they just sent me a letter one day saying, do you know what, we're bored of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 you know. But I hadn't broken any rules. I was just slightly overdrawn. I might have bounced the odd check in rent or something, right. you know. And I do remember thinking it was quite... I mean, it kind of hits you in the solar plexus a little bit. I was about uh, 26, 27 at that point. Yeah. I went and got a, a, an account in the Abbey National, which has since gone on to be Santander, yeah. a bigger, more high-prestigious bank than that West. But Couldn't they have called you, Steve? I mean, it's all right. Yeah, well, they could have done. But what I'm saying is it does feel a bit like you're being unpersoned.